Hi, I went and turned on my sprinkler system uh, about two weeks ago and as I turned the water on and I started to check things out I suddenly got a burst of stream coming right out of this uh, great big burst of water coming right out of this great big metal thing here. This is a backflow preventer. It's a Febco uh, 765. It's a pretty typical one. But there's a giant crack along this uh, metal piece right here. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove this piece. I'm going to cut the PVC and I'm going to replace it with this piece which is uh, exactly the same part just uh, about 20 years newer. This repair cost about uh, $350 from my local lawn company so I've paid about 80 bucks for this and I bought a couple PVC pieces and a little bit of glue for about uh, about 100 bucks total including this is about $78 on Amazon so I'm going to try to save myself $250 by doing this myself so we'll see what happens. So first things first, my water is turned off uh, inside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a hacksaw. I'm going to cut this piece off, cut this piece off. I have to be careful because my, my water company actually has, oops, there we go, uh, little guides here, little meters here, and they put the, wire, the wires onto my, my pipes. I'm going to move that out of the way. So I'm going to cut, the, I'm going to cut up here first and see what happens. The water is turned off, so let's see how this goes. There we go. Okay. One. Um, clean that out in a second. A real PVC saw will clean it up a little bit better, but that's good. Okay, now for this, it's tight because I have a coupler right here. So I'm going to have to cut right there. Put another couple on top. Um, so this is where the water comes in. So there's a chance my valves on the inside, I have two valves on the inside, I turned them both off, but there's a chance my valves don't work on the inside. So we'll see what happens here. Let me open that up. There you go, I just opened it up, saw a little bit of water come bursting out there. Alright, let's see. Side of it. Alright, there we go. Alright, uh, that towel here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this file, not the perfect file, but it's rounded. I'm going to make sure I get all the burrs off of it. Now, remember, I need to build, I need to build this like this this so what I need to do is I need to get some PVC pieces I need to build up a little higher because I need to connect to this so let me I'll add up about five inches or so so here the goal is to again replicate this setup just a little higher up so the way I'll do that I will take two couplings cement them in with two pieces that are exactly the same height move that up like that Take a, an elbow and use two screw ones, a one inch threaded. One in here, one here. I'll cement that on here. And get a little piece, cement that on there, and we'll be good to go. So I'm going to use my uh, hose holder here, this extra set of hands. And what I'm going to do to put this threaded PVC into this brass piece here, I'm going to use some plumber's tape. And what that does is when you have two hard, brittle things going together like that, you can screw them pretty tightly and it'll be fairly tight, but it may not be airtight or watertight just because of the nature of it. So you put a little bit of this tape in here, and I'm going to wrap it around this direction, I guess to the left. Um, I'm always guilty of putting too much on, but I'm going to try to cover all the threads. I'm probably going to get about, try to get it as smooth as possible. I'm not doing a great job here. But you want to try to get at least, usually two or three layers will do it. That's probably pretty good for me. And then I'm going to rip it, kind of 
pairs. So I have a gummy tape kind of on here. Now, turn to the right. It's thin enough that it goes in with the threads, but it fills in any gaps. It's almost like putting gum into the threads. And that should make it nice and tight. I'm just going to hand tighten it for now. I'm not sure if I really need to go much more than that. Okay. It's probably pretty tight there. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Oops. Okay. Same thing. I'm going to turn it to the right to tighten it. So I'm going to wrap it around to the left. Two or three layers. So that as I... Oops, I slip there. So that as I tighten it, uh, it keeps pulling the tape. You can put the tape on in the wrong direction, and as you tighten your threads, it will actually loosen up. You don't want that. So there we go. That's probably about two or three layers. I'll give this another shot. There we go. Same idea. Should be able to get it started here. Um, when I got this, when I bought this piece, this and this were already attached, so they use the same thing. They use this exact same tape between two brass pieces. So there we go. Okay, now I'm ready to uh, kind of fit it over here. I'm going to get some sizing in a second here. Okay, so I'm going to put this in here something like that so I'll have to cement this piece this piece this piece to this and I'll need another piece connector piece in here and that's probably gonna be let's say that's about one inch deep over to here to about three probably about three and a half so I'll bet I need about a three and a half inch piece here and I'll cement those two as well Okay, I've taken everything back down, and now I'm ready to start gluing on couplings and pipe and kind of put it all together. I have all the pieces ready to go. Uh, and to do that, I'm gonna use a, put a little handy pack. I've got some primer and I've got the cement and they work together. And it's actually been years since I've done this. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and read the instructions and then I'm gonna do it. And you'll see how easy it really is. I'm going to use my, my primer, purple. And the way this stuff works is there's a little there's a little brush in the can here. So here's my purple primer. So you prime around the outside like that. It smells horrendous. Uh, and you prime around the inside of your, your PVC there. So that's primed. And then, I don't have enough hands. Get the cement, pull it out. It's a little gooier. Put a ring of it around there. And you take your primer and put a ring of it around the primed, uh, primed inside there. And you basically just press it on. It says do a quarter turn, but I kind of press down. The coupling actually has a little line in there to press it down to. And uh, there we go. We are set. And I'm going to do the other side. Same thing, primer, and then cement, and then just press it down. Primer. Primer. Uh, cement. I'm dripping all over the grass here, a little more cement, a towel for my hands, and kind of press down, and there we go.
All right, here I am the next day. Uh, I actually let everything dry, uh, cure, for much longer than the two hours that uh, PVC normally takes. I just said, the heck with that. I went inside, went and did something else, came back out the next day, so here we are. Uh, I just tried it out a little bit and everything seems to actually be on. I turned on the main water line and then I went ahead, this is closed, I opened this up, and I opened this up. And now if I'm going to go ahead and test out my sprinklers, uh, all the sprinkler lines seem to be working. I got an initial little burst of water here, but that's okay. The little plunger up in there goes up and down. what's supposed to happen. Uh, but right now my water is on. There are no leaks. Uh, it's pretty dry other than a little burst of water when it first started up. So uh, I think we're good. I think I replaced it and I think it actually works pretty well. I'm going to go test out a sprinkler be on the safe side, but uh, that's all you got to do. All I did again was I cut the two pipes. I cut a pipe here, cut a pipe here, put the whole operation off, put new PVC in, primed and cemented everything back together. Uh, honestly, probably took me about 40 minutes, maybe an hour of work uh, all told, plus uh, not including all the hours I waited for to just kind of cure and uh, seal up. And that's it, nice and easy. Saved myself about uh, $250, about $100 in parts. It would have cost me $350 from a mechanic or from a, a landscaping uh, sprinkler guy, but this only cost me uh, about $100 in parts, so that's good.